Hello, everybody, and welcome back to uh, Supreme Ruler The Great War, not Ultimate, uh, <laughs> with me, Comic but, 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 but technically, the Ultimate, ultimate with, with, the, with, with the Great Ru great War, Great Ruler DLC. <laughs> I don't know what's that saying. <laughs> it's too many words. Why is it every time I do an intro, everybody <laughs> fucked up? Uh, <laughs> the, I am joined... with the Great Ruler. I'm joined by all these gentlemen here who, who <laughs> messed up the intro Benjamin Magnus, Bundeswehr Bob. And Mordred Viking. Everyone applaud Roach for saying it right this time. Yay! Yay! I hate all of you. <laughs> if I had a nickel for every time you told me that, I'd and have 47 and nickels. And, let, and yet you're still here. <laughs> I am. You, you, you could buy an ice cream cone. I could. <laughs> but not at Disney. Because it would cost $12. Jesus Christ. Well, they gotta make money somehow. Uh, it's, there were, there was one time I was uh, sitting in my quote unquote break room, which was a, a dirty maintenance cor corridor behind where the princess's actual break room was. Uh, one time, and I heard a couple of managers uh, talking about they were the the food and food and beverage managers, and they were talking about uh, um, you know like staffing and and you know, you know hours and stuff like that. And one of them one of them mentioned that uh, for the Magic Kingdom to well, it was it was for all of Disney World to break even. They only needed to get five thousand people into the park, and everything else after that was was profit. And Magic Kingdom alone generally has about forty to fifty thousand people in it, in every any given day. So they're not hurting for profits. It's a ray of artillery pieces I've I've assembled. So Roach, talking of artillery, uh, during the break we were talking about who had what range. I have 40 kilometer range. Roach seems to only have 29 maximum. I do have five artillery pieces on the way if you want to buy them, or I can tell you the design, or B Bob can tell you the design, because I bought it from him initially. You know, you guys haven't helped me through the... Like, well, okay, you've helped me, but <laughs> you're, you're smaller. You keep what you've got. I don't want to take things from you. I, You know, I'll, I'll do my own thing. You know, it's not like we're... It's I not like you the design. That's not a problem. If you want it. Do you want the design is basically what I'm saying. Sure. Well, there you go then. Oops. Would you, why was it so hard for you to say yes to that? Like, what? He's, he's a strong, independent Hungarian. He don't need no man in Bulgaria. Excuse me? Austrian. Well, I don't know which, 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 which uh, you know, uh, ethnic group you descend from. <laughs> you all look alike. <laughs> Well, Aust Austria Hungary at this time was how many different uh, like cultures? Eleven. You're all the same when you're oppressed. <laughs> Paint the desert pink. It's what I'm doing right now. Are you? Are you taking over the peninsula? No, I'm. I, well, I'm painting the desert pink by 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 spreading bratwurst everywhere. Well, I don't know. What do we eat? Armenians. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming it's it's not particularly different than what. Just people eat, Ben. It's just... <laughs> a bratwurst? Oh, now I'm hungry. The auto bros are still thin. Yeah, I'm not at war yet. I'm t my uh, my finance minister went, went batshit crazy, so I've spent the last two episodes paying off loans. I mean, Roach declared war on Serbia, you know, as is tradition for World War One. You know, he game with World War One. A bombardment has begun. Bombardment. 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 Kabow, kabow, kabow. Christ, look at the health of that facility. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wait, where are we looking? To the outside Warsaw. Warsaw. They're trying to repair it, but wow. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're just... You're just... Oh, there's nobody there. You're just blowing up the buildings. Oh, no, they're in there. I, I just oh, can't. I don't okay. have sights. Right, right, right. Because you attack a town, and then like some people just go surprise and jump out of the barracks. I'm trying right. to kill. I'm trying to kill all those the, fortresses. All, all the towed artillery are arranged to wait. It looks like it's like a one big super cannon. <laughs> all right. right, right now my my my, my chat my chat gets me on this one. They go really, Ben kebab. They eat kebab. <laughs> Begin the assault. Here comes the cavalry. Oh my God. Jesus Christ! Oh, well, the there. Wingtoe stars arrived. My God! 
keep that facility suppressed, goddammit! <laughs> gonna run out of bullets again. Well, so is fallen. He, he won't need the bullets if everyone's dead. That's true. Well, then you can just grow, you know, pry the, prize the bullets out of the box. That is that infantry charge coming in from the west. God. <laughs> oh, man. Just, you, you just hear vaguely German there. screaming over the plains. Well done. You took it. Textbook uh, operation. By the numbers. Next stop, Petrograd. Deconstruct Jesus, those that, that went a lot better than resources. I thought it would. <laughs> yeah, you were saying Warsaw was going to be a bitch and a half, and it was nothing. Oh, you were prepared you for it. You only had to fire 12 million artillery shells at, at it. That bombard, yeah, no, that bombardment was, was monstrous. And now I have to spend a shitload of money repairing that facility. Or don't bother. Blow I mean, it up. Yeah, for the fortifications, just scrap it, then you can use those resources elsewhere. Whoa, 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 what happened? Whoa, whoa, whoa. It started. World War One's going, let's do it. Ah! France declared war on Austria-Hungary. Oh, France started this shit? No, I declared war on Russia. Oh, you declared war. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is not in, in chronological order then. Oh, my God. I don't know who to support. Oh, fuck it, I'm just, I'm just dismissing all these. I don't... Does it matter if you condemn or support it? Yes, it, there's world opinion. Uh, I'm gonna support you. Hey guys, tensional. <laughs> the world tension's gone up. Oh, really? Change that. <laughs> Supply depot. It doesn't look done to me. Oh no, that one's done. Oh, it's gonna take ages to, to just to just untangle this. <laughs> This mass of troops around Warsaw. It's like uh, R Russian order of battle management in Hoi 3 after uh, an offensive. I was watching, um, I, uh, who was it? If an item gamer, I think is who it was, and watching him play Russia, and all he had was just a horde of, like, step cavalry, just, like, <laughs> running, running around, just roughshod all over the place. He would just click drag. Nothing but cavalry. Just click drag and just, like, move. And he got in circle, like, multiple times, and it was painful to watch in some instances. But uh, and whenever he, he encountered something, I didn't watch the end of the stream, but I mean, whenever he encountered something, it got like run over. But he, there were so many times where he would just get circled and just run out of supply, like straight up. Mm. <laughs> Chat just goes, "You're in Norway levels of debt." I was in Norway levels of debt. I paid off fifty-seven loans. Did you do a Norway series I missed or something? You were there. <laughs> You're going to <have> to refresh <laughs> my memory. It was me, you, Roach, Midge, uh, and, and Kelvin. Yeah, Calvin. Remember, he was he was the he was the uh, the the, <laughs> the uh, beggar uh, parasite onto my <laughs> country. Was he constantly begging for money for Roach to pay for more colonies. I don't recall this. Oh, or the U four game. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was thinking like I was thinking like Supreme Ruler. I was just like I've never played Supreme Ruler with Calvin. I was like, what are you talking about? No, it was U four. You know what? I should probably just do the same strategy for breasts. Yeah. Blow it up. Yeah, just blow the fuck out of it. <laughs> Seems to be pretty effective. Let God sort it out. <laughs> Two more loans, guys. Two more loans. Well, no movement from France so far. Just beat up Lubeck to get your money back. If you recall that series... Trying to beat up Blue Bag didn't work out that well for me. He kept hiring out Mer uh, Condottieri to my enemies. Ah! What was that? So it's just tension <laughs> alert. It's just tension alert. People are tense. <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking tense. I, I can see those... those, those <laughs> so those those uh, Bulgarian artillery just turned back once they got to Kharkov. Yeah, they're like, well, you did the job already. Alright, I'm going home. <laughs> I mean, do you want to buy them for me? Because they're just going to sit in reserve for a while otherwise. No, you're going to need them. Because I can just build some more. Alright, so I figured, out, I figured out how artillery works. The bombard button. 
No, I mean, I, I finished the research. Oh. See, I didn't put bombardment down when I did it. I actually had an attack facility, ah, specifically. Okay. Clever. That's why it didn't uh, do any damage to anything that was in there. It just it did all the damage to those facilities. That was pretty impressive how you just eroded that. I think Bond has supply depots under construction near Gaza. I do. I finished um, this big supply depot over here, some near uh, Constantinople. and But I still have a big group building over here. And I have, I think, three building down here near the British border. Is Good that the news. King George again? Warsaw's got, a, got an airfield. <laughs> Good news, hey, everybody. Black Brainburger, thanks for another 25 bits. He's waiting for a horde of Russian step cavalry to come screaming out of Russia. Well, you know, I am waiting they for that, They need an Austro-Hungarian <laughs> like, horde of, art of uh, cavalry. I just know, my mod just goes, I just noticed I could time out Nightbot. What? <laughs> well, he's a mod. Yeah, not something I even considered I'm, being possible. But I'm yes. I mean, that would create a black hole of some kind, so it'll do that. <laughs> also, build barracks just so you, you, you can stuff the units you are making closer to the border. Uh, I, I, got one, I gotta do one thing at a time here. I Actually, finish... it's, uh, it's a good idea to have those barracks as well, because if a unit gets uh, damaged, you can just send them to repair in a barracks, and uh, it well, doesn't... Like... I, I, I can't I, I don't have the uh, the economy to buy the industrial goods for the stuff I'm building right now. So I have to wait for some of this stuff to build before I can work on other stuff. But now that I'm not paying on interest on loans, that'll pick up. It's alert level. Don't worry. Oh, sure. Schmitty <laughs> constantly asking me, Ben, whether you've learned your lesson, if you're going to use supply trucks. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, that's not a thing in this right now. I don't oh. even know what those are. <laughs> right, he's, he's asked me about three times now to ask that. I mean, I don't have. I, 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 I'll show you my military right now. I'll show you what I've got. You have supply trucks because I can't give you the research for them. Uh, let's see. So reserve units. So I've got. Uh, nope, not everybody. Just these. I've got. No, look at your build menu. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm showing them what's in my military right now. I'll do that after this. This is, I have infantry. I have cavalry. I have 75 millimeter field pieces. And that's it. And under production, infantry. Nope. I got infantry. And you want a supply infantry. truck for nothing, Bulgaria. Really? The design? Yes. I gave you the artillery for nothing. Yes, give me your vacuum. 300. Oh, I can't. What You think I can afford that? No, I took that off. It shouldn't cost you anything. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. That was what it's worth. Okay. Except. Yeah, no, because originally that was what sorry, I was going to I was looking at the wrong for, line there. But, uh, I was like, that's like, that's, that's like half a year's worth of income. Yeah, that's how much that technology's worth. So I want you to realize how much, how much, how generous I am. He said he sent me plans for the rigid airship and some other stuff. Um. All the convenience of an air of of an airplane and all of the uh, all of the luxury of a, of a uh, ocean liner. Mm -hmm. What's what's that? What exactly is that from Archer? Because they have an episode where, where it's where they're on. Uh, yeah, 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 a, so. uh, a rigid airship. Supply carts? No, I don't have supply carts either. At least I'm building supply depots, like, you know, progressively. I produce 180 industrial goods a day. That's not very many. I'm up to 89. Jesus. Industrial goods? Industrial yep. goods. 180. Well, I, do, I, do, I do 1,300. Yeah. This is our problem. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, let's see. Uh, consumption consumer goods. I produce 150 consumer, 89 industrial, and 14 really military. This scary sight for the Russians. Just this massive infantry moving slowly closer to their border, just around Warsaw. Wasn't there a way to see like what you're missing in terms of production for something? Materials? Is it under? Oh, here we go. In okay, so industrial goods. I'm low on industrial goods. For industrial goods, 
That's all I'm. That, that's all. Oh, yeah. Let's lower it level again. <laughs> Loud noises. <laughs> No. Don't need industrial goods to build. You use the bones of Armenians and leftover Romanians. Um, I don't know if that's how that works. Has the UK joined this war yet? Hasn't, has it? Nope. How do you? Uh, how did you up your frame rate to sixty? My frame rate's not sixty. Yeah, this game just. You don't run never... this game at sixty. <laughs> no. Not unless yeah. you're zoomed you all the way in. Show them what it looks. Up. Yeah, you should show them what it looks like when you zoom out to the world screen. Yeah, four frames per second on the world screen. <laughs> all right. What I wish was that there was a master list of all the construction going on in your country. That would be nice. Wow, GDP ranking, 103. And this is when there was a lot less countries in the world. I think colonies still count. Highest GDP is apparently Denmark. The master, thanks for the follow. How do you see GDP ranking? Uh, you uh, go to the uh, the diplomacy screen, click on your land, and then you can see the economy. Somebody just asked, if France and Germany are at war, what's going on in the waters and in the colonies? I don't know, Bob? Well, we're just patrolling, like, just outside of, like, Bremerhaven, essentially, right now with part of the fleet. Actually, and the colonies, the colonies are just kind of hanging out. They're not doing anything. Colonies have really bad supplies, so, like, trying to fight in the colonies is essentially just, like, who wins the slap fight first on that one. You want, Marjorie, if you want to find out your GDP ranking, go to your finance tab and just hover over the, like, White House icon. Ah. Uh, 81st. GDP ranking 35. Yeah. <laughs> Royal, the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the commands in chat still i think the only one i have set up right now is 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 discord that'll give you the discord link right now on command i think it's the only one i have set up yeah i need to do a bunch of those as well like a lot of people saying uh, uptime i need to configure yeah. that one yeah Huzzah. Okay, the, the Discord one works. Nice. I just gotta... Some of, the, some of this Twitch stuff I gotta figure out for, for myself. Like, they're getting the sound effects up and running. I wanna, wanna figure that one out. Because there's a lot of good sound effects I'd like people to be... I'd like to have people... This to time use. it's bad, Ben! No, it wasn't! You're lying! <laughs> <laughs> I was like... I, I really wanna try to feel Like, I'm going around my country trying to figure out facilities are being constructed right now because but it's, it, there's not really any easy way to tell so those ones are definitely stalled out these ones are not moving <laughs> the flight of the austro-hungarian air force over poland those ones aren't moving the entirety of it oh i'm going the wrong way that's not egypt uh, i wonder why i have like my biplanes have just a big w on their wings Someone in my chat saying, having a high GDP is bad. You're objectively wrong. <laughs> you saying it makes the, like, the production costs and things like that go up, but over overall... I think he's they're thinking of GDP per capita. Yeah, probably. Uh, you can name units, I think. Can I get an infantry division, please? Yeah, you'll get one of these, one of these guys sitting over here on the... Uh, how do I do this? Uh... <laughs> Uh, to click you, and then click you, and then click over here. How do I how do how do I click you? Clear orders, send for repairs. How do I get the? Uh... Is that truck going by, Bob? Huh? Yeah, we're hearing feedback from your like speakers or something. Oh, it's probably my AC. Is what's going on right now? Oh. 
because I keep muting my mic, and when I unmute it, the sensitivity like gets cranked up, and then it like figures itself out again. Uh, ben, you can't rename individual units, but you can rename uh, battle groups. I don't even know how those work. Uh, control number creates a battle group. It's like a it's like a quick. Wait, uh, wait, wait, you know. wait, wait. Are you saying that that was not a paid feature from a DLC? <laughs> no. It's not going to be a paid one either in Hearts Fired Four. They are oh. adding. I, I read. I read the DLC. That that was an incorrect assumption that you guys made. It's still shit that it wasn't <laughs> in the game two and a half years ago when they started producing it. Ben, we made a promise. No, for one episode. I went for one episode. No, technically you didn't because it got. I went. For, I went. The, the, when? the bet started in the middle of the episode. You went for the rest it of the episode. It was about five then... minutes. It was about five minutes in, and we went about ten minutes into this one. Okay. It On a serious note, the hate for Hearts Fired Four. Well, I get that you have it. it. Is getting pretty boring hearing it all the time. Stop bringing it up, then. Uh oh, battle group one. How do I rename a battle group? Click, click. No, that's not it. Click. Click. No, no, that's not it. That's not it. That's if you go to it. the battle groups in the defense tab, click on the battle group oh, itself man, and then rename. It's one of the tabs. Uh, the... This is this UI is rough. Um, go to the defense thing so that and make sure that all of like the selected units, deployed units, reserved units stuff is like collapsed. You'll see a battle group uh, like selection battle zone. No. In defense no. tab. In the defense tab. Orders, Ooh, the shield with the arrow. on. That's interesting. <laughs> Not, in the side. Not in the side, Ben. In the main box on the left side, where you have all your units listed. At the bottom oh, is shit. where your battle groups are listed. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, and you click on that, and you can rename it on the the tab that looks like a battle group icon with a little pencil on a white uh, bar. Wow, that is... That, that, that's some interesting UI choices there. The royal battle group. There we go. Aha! I, these messages are getting... I'm getting conflicting messages. Every single time I get one of those warnings, a heightened alert level. Alert level reduced. Heightened alert level. Alert level reduced. They always come in twos. Great, great. So now Warsaw, because of the German advanced, now the Warsaw airfield is, uh, is 200 kilometers past the front line. <laughs> always blame the Germans. <laughs> so like, as soon as the fucking Air Force gets there. Just can't even, can't even exploit it. God damn it! <laughs> Name part of your country after me. Okay, this this part down here is known as Silas Town. Cyrus Town. Sorry. I think you can rename towns. Yeah, you can uh, uh, rename the hexes. Yeah, you can rename the hexes. Though I don't oh. know exactly how. Uh, it would probably be under here somewhere. What is what is this for? Low. What what the hell is this UI element? What are you? Yeah. Zones maybe. Oh, I don't know how those work either. Notice the I just noticed those notifications say League of Nations. That that's not a thing right now. Yeah, it is. League yeah, of no, it is. is it, well, I thought that was after World War One. No, it was in the run-up. Uh, shortage. Yes, I know there's a shortage of goods. It's like the the main issue I'm right. having. There's there's an airfield I'm about to take. Unvoids by submarines. Consumer goods are doing better. Consumer goods need industrial goods. Blah. All right, we're about ready to. We have begun the bombardment of Brest, Litovsk, Litovsk. What did fuck it? This is not place. the one in France. The one in Russia. Yeah. yeah. Threat level reduced. 
Oh, I'm, I'm, up, oh, I'm, I, I, I'm, when, I'm actually seeing the population go down. Uh, <laughs> oh, if, they, <laughs> if they didn't want to die, they shouldn't have been rushing then. Oh my god. <laughs> it just, goes down pretty rapidly, yeah. It goes down pretty wow, rapidly. Wow, yeah, you just killed 9,000 people. Oh my god, I feel bad. I really do. You this monster. started at like 120,000 or something like that. Me, machine, thanks for the follow there. Oh my god. There was a law against this, right? It's like, like, like something some, about Geneva. Yeah, so, so, this is against the Geneva Convention. Do we know if that's a thing yet? Uh, or wasn't it called the Hague Convention at that point? Wasn't it? Well, considering they didn't ban chemical weapons, I kind of doubt it was a thing. Was there, was there a gentlemanly agreement not to bombard? Ta my God. <laughs> Four well, bombarding, bombarding towns does make your international opinion like go down. Like people will look at that and go, "You're a bad man." Well, yeah, he's Austria-Hungary. Does he have? Does anybody really think he's a good, he, he's a good country right now? I think he's an okay guy. <laughs> yeah, Austria's all right. I, miss, I think um, you're a bit biased, Bob. <laughs> Russia's uh, not Russia. Roach is committing war crimes. <laughs> uh, that's about it. Oh yeah, that that population counter goes down pretty damn rapidly. This. All right, I'm almost done with some more industrial goods facilities. Come on, industrialize those goods. Then the German hussars arrived. Who needs mechanization? Like. Me. This works. <laughs> this works just fine. Please, we're uh, using, may I have some wheels? We're using tactics from the Napoleonic era, and we're, we're doing fine. No grand battery. The Geneva Convention was created in 1864, revised in 1906, and then again in 1921, according to chat. Mm -hmm. Okay, was there was there some sort of I don't know. Was there a, reg a law against like bombarding towns, like civilian targets during wartime? I don't think so. Bond issued? What? No. Okay. <laughs> he's. It's just. It says bond issue, and he's just asking me if 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 he can or not or can issue bonds. Um. No. Yeah, please, 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 please. I That's already paid so off the fun. last. I already paid off the last sixty. You fucking took out. 60, he was. I think he took out more than one load per day that we played. I think there is a limit, one per day, but yeah. It sometimes feels that way. I remember that all too clearly. As he, the he took out 60 in the first... It was within the first episode or two. I don't know if we played two months in the, the first two episodes. Don't know. 100%. Ah, yes. Ah, finish. You know you want to. Industrial goods, because that will produce industrial goods, and then I'll have more industrial goods to put into the other industrial areas. Are you fighting on a different front, Bob? I, I haven't looked over in the western half of Europe. And... I think he's just sitting there. The the western front's all quiet. Like that book. <laughs> kind of like that. <laughs> well, are there even you have nice Frenchies? pretty formations, and oh my yeah. god, that... <laughs> Infantry and the artillery lined up, and then for some reason those really strange-looking tanks. <laughs> yeah, I just looked at that. Just they stick out like a sore thumb. I was just like looking over the the whole defensive line. I was like, yeah, that pretty. Good. That's a tank. There was this <laughs> bright light, and suddenly this mechanization from the future appeared. <laughs> that reminds me of a book that uh, that I've read. Um, I don't know if you guys like read like uh, alternate like uh, alternate history fiction or anything like that, um, but there's an author that basically that's all he does, uh, and one of his early books is called Guns of the South, and the basis of it is that time traveling Afrikaners go back to the Civil War, the United States Civil War, and arm the Confederate uh, Army in Northern Virginia with AK-47s. 
I've heard of this book, but I never actually read it. It's actually very good. Like, the premise is stupid. Like, I'll, I'll say that off the bat. Like, it's the premise when you go in just to like, wow, that, <laughs> how long is this book? 300 pages. <laughs> wow. Uh, but, uh, but when you actually read it, it's like, oh, wow, this is very tastefully and, and very nicely done. I, I would highly recommend any of his work because he also has like a 12 part series about what if the civil, uh, the Confederacy won the Civil War that spans, uh, the end of the Civil War all the way to 1945 in that timeline. Wasn't there, is there an HBO yeah. series on that or something coming? No. And that's, that's actually my problem with that series. Like when I, when I read that, I was like, Oh, they're going to do it. And then it's just like, no, it's, it's just an original concept. And I'm just like, well, that's a wasted opportunity. You <laughs> HBO had a 12 book series they could have taken things from. Oh, wow. There's <laughs> made a planes are coming up here. That's impressive. Hi. I'm contributing. <laughs> um, so I'm not sure if the industrial production facilities are really. So they don't seem to be worth it too much because I built one and it increased my industrial production by 30. And the deficit I'm running right now is 2,200. So. 30 out of 2,200. Which one did you build? Medium, large, or small? Uh, let's see. Construction has been completed. Industrial goods. Is there a way to sell, tell after it's been constructed what size it was? I think it was just the small one. Yeah, then that would be that would be in, in line. I just thought one. it was going to be more than 30. Well, no, it's, um, it's a see. small facility. <laughs> It's a small facility in eighteen or nineteen fourteen. No, it was set for no. It's the it's the largest one. Yeah, the mid ones only add like two or three. These adorable Bulgarian biplanes. I'm doing some scouting oh, hey, for look, you. Oh, hey, look! It's a Russian armored car. It to push into my territory, and now it's going to be cut off. Because they don't, I think, cost very much to maintain, and they certainly don't shoot yeah, anything. There's totally it's it's a red star with the hammer and sickle on it. If you zoom in close enough. It's not even that good, because those are just garrison troops that's fighting right now. Have, have you fought any actual Russians yet? It just seems like it's just been garrisons and armored cars. Oh, no, I've, I've fought them. It's uh, I, when there were my initial invasion and uh, uh, lo like skirmishes and stuff. But since uh, I've begun these um, these operations, uh, it's, you know, just basic. Increased uh, production, I need better supply. Well, not according to the tooltip here. Production, 210. Capacity, 210. That seems to be maxed out. Well, no. The the facilities that make the, the stuff will produce more if they're in a better supplied area. Uh, they're in the same town as the supply depot, so... And in a built-up area with a lot of supply. If you click the, t if you click the area, like, what does it tell you for supply? Because if, if you click uh, the tab and you have the land tab open... 55%. 55 percent that's not like, you you usually want to like up to 75 percent it is harder to achieve in this era though yeah see what you normally want to do is you want to cluster supply uh depots in fours Let's see also i'm a little surprised it's as low as it is considering it's a built-up area with the i thought the supply depot would probably <coughs> get out more than that oh no it's Let's a german air force oh, those are consumer goods the running theory in my chat right now is that the armored cars are carrying uh, like Lenin clones into like <laughs> it's not really true actually because Germany like sent Lenin into Russia yeah they did and what are so they trying now and they're just attacking me so what are they trying to get into fucking Austria Hungary I'm just gonna get, I'm just gonna reserve all these infantry near the French border there's not they're not gonna be able to get over to to Russia in time for anything, I don't think. All right, build some more supply depots. That'll be done in three years. They don't take that long to build. Uh, she, 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 I think you've been paying attention to what I'm saying about my economy. <laughs> We're over time, by the way. Oh, okay. Uh, thank you for joining us for this episode. If you enjoyed it, please leave a comment down below. Also, hit that like button if you like the episode. Uh, if you uh, want to take a look at the various other perspectives down, uh, if you're watching on YouTube, uh, there should be a link down below in the description uh, for uh, all these other guys' uh, views. Uh, and if uh, you, uh, if you want to help support the channel, below, please uh, also take a look at the Patreon links and Discord links. And we will see you guys in the next episode.
Goodbye. Goodbye.